Magnesium is a metal alloy containing magnesium and aluminium. Depending on the ratio is used, it can be useful for a couple of things. I'm using about a 50-50 ratio for this as I look required for pyrotechnics. On the left I have a mixture of magnesium powder and a bar. This is all that I had on hand as I was trying to get this finished before the Australian summer hit. Using a furnace when it is 40 degrees outside is not a really great idea. And on the right hand side I have a single bar of aluminium. You will also need a furnace as I just mentioned for this next bit as they need to be mixed whilst molten. You cannot just simply heat them up using a torch as the magnesium will ignite and the magnesium is also quite reactive. Begin to add your product to your crystal you are using. I bought this for the main purpose of scrapping copper wire out of my cables, but it has also allowed me to try and make magnesium too. This was my first time making it, so I was unsure of what to expect. Magnesium is not on the list of things I can melt with a furnace, so I did not know if the graphite crucible would do anything unexpected. Place the crucible into the furnace and turn it on. You are going to want to set it above the melting point of aluminium, which is 660 degrees Celsius. Magnesium melts at 650 degrees Celsius, so I set mine to around 700. At high temperatures, magnesium will react with the air to form the oxide, which in this case will be slag, which is not what we want. Just scrape off any of that forms. Because of this, I did not record the two metals melting, as I did not want to open up the lid and let the magnesium and the newly formed magnesium react with the air and ignite, losing our product. Producing both molten can give it a good mix, I use a carbon rod for this. If you don't mix it, you won't get a very good even bar, and you won't get the full effect compared to a bar that had been fully mixed while molten. Numbers are flashing due to the camera's frames per second. This is not from the furnace itself. When pouring molten metal, it is always best to heat up the mold before pouring. This is so there is no temperature shock resulting in a molten metal explosion. This is the main reason I wanted to get this video done before summer, as I did not want to be pouring molten metal that could result in a fire from splatter. Safety precautions must be taken when working with extreme temperatures. I placed a terracotta pot on top so then it would not react further with the air. This next bit is just me trying to get all the slag out so it will not harden inside the crucible. You can see when the molten magnesium hits the surface, it sparks and burns leaving aluminium and the magnesium oxides. It might not look like I have a good batch here, but this is mainly slag out of the crucible. If I had tried pouring the molten magnesium straight onto the plate, I would have gotten a much better reaction. This was mainly just to confirm that what I have is magnesium and not a useless alloy. This is what I was left with once it had cooled. I'll be using it in future videos to make stars, strobes and other pyrotechnic compositions. Stay tuned and hit that like button for me if you enjoyed the video and subscribe. If you haven't already, please check out my Patreon and consider donating towards my channel. A little can go a long way. See you in the next video.